Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. With so many awesome shows being released, more and more of us have started using our phones, tablets and even laptops to keep up. And I know for sure after spending all your money buying that new system or even monitor, speakers are definitely the last thing on the list. So this week, I thought I'll share with you guys a quick and easy method that you can use to turn any Android phone into a speaker for your computer systems. But why stop at one, when you can turn all your devices getting that true surround sound experience. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one. And of course, as always, don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head over to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now, before we get started, make sure that all your devices are connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. And because we are dealing with wireless speakers, depending on your home network, the audio lag can vary. So the closer all your devices are to the wireless router, the less lag they'll be. And of course, the further you are, the higher it will get. But having said that, personally, I've used this setup to watch full length movies and shows with barely any lag at all. So it does 100% work. And I have to say, when you have the multiple devices set up at once, listening to music becomes a whole different experience. I'm going to restore my clan. Now let's get this set up on your devices. For this, we're going to use the software Audio Relay, which you can download from my first link down in the video description below. And whilst this installs on our system, we also want to download the companion app right from the Play Store. And once done, your screen should look something like this. Now as a quick side note, here we're going to be focusing on sharing our audio from our computers onto all of our other devices. However, on the other hand, you can share audio from other devices direct to your computer as well. Such as with our mobile phone, we can set it up to share its microphone. Simply put, one device has to be set up as the server and all the others join as players. Now when it comes to pairing devices together, it's super simple. As long as both apps are running, in this server section of your phone, you should automatically see the audio relay running on your computers, listed with its IP address just like mine shows right here. So all you have to do is tap it and it should connect automatically. However, at this point if you do have any issues, make sure to check that you're on the same network, your computer's firewall settings are not blocking the software. And if that doesn't work, you can always try another network. Here, for this example, I'm actually set up using a hotspot from one of my other phones. Now, once they're both connected, your phone should show up on this list right here. At this point, any audio that you play out your computers will also be playing out your phone. However, you may notice that your phone's audio is a little bit behind your PCs. To manage that lag, you can actually play around with the app setting itself. Adjusting its bitrate, the buffer amount and even toggling on a few other settings. But in my opinion, to get that best experience, you can either switch from a wireless connection to a USB tethering one so all of the audio transfers seamlessly through USB or alternatively you can copy what I did and cut off the sound from your computers. To do this, simply turning down the volume isn't going to work. Instead, you want to head to your computer's audio out settings and switch it to the headphones. And because I don't actually have headphones plugged in, this is going to cut off the audio instead. But at the same time, it should keep playing out your phones. But if it does stop within the audio relay app, just change up the audio device options, setting it to your headphones. Now, on a final note, to connect multiple devices at once, all you have to do is update to the premium version of the audio relay app. 
So if you truly don't want to spend any money at all on speakers, then it's definitely well worth giving this one a try. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos? See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.